Hi and welcome back to Chav Weather. Today we dive into an unprecedented hypothetical. What if the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert on Earth, transformed into a lush, verdant forest overnight? This question stirs our imaginations, but it also prompts us to delve into the profound impact such a change would have on our planet's climate, ecosystems, and most importantly, on us, human beings. Understanding the potential impacts of such a change requires us first to understand the Sahara. The Sahara is a sprawling stretch of extreme conditions across North Africa, its area rivaling that of the United States. It's a place of scorching temperatures, sporadic rainfall, and high evaporation rates, a landscape that has shaped the lives, cultures, and livelihoods of millions of people who call it home. In our mind-bending scenario, this vast desert transforms into a green expanse overnight. Such a transformation would be far more than just an aesthetic shift. It has implications for the local and global weather systems, and consequently, for human societies. Let's first talk about the water cycle. Forests play a pivotal role in the water cycle through evapotranspiration, where trees absorb groundwater and release water vapour through their leaves. This increases atmospheric moisture and can lead to an increase in rainfall, not just in the transformed Sahara, but potentially in areas downwind. Imagine the people of the Sahara experiencing frequent rainfall for the first time in generations. It would have immense implications for their agriculture, water resources and daily life. Next is the albedo effect, referring to the reflectivity of a surface. Desert sands have a high albedo, reflecting much of the sun's energy, but forests absorb more sunlight, potentially causing localised warming. This warming could disrupt the livelihoods of local populations and lead to unprecedented heat waves, endangering public health and the new forest ecosystem's sustainability. Forests are also crucial for carbon sequestration, acting as carbon sinks. A green Sahara could significantly reduce atmospheric CO2 levels, a positive in the global fight against climate change. Yet this must be balanced against the potential for increased localised warming due to the decreased albedo. The question is, could the benefits of carbon sequestration be outweighed by localised warming, leading to a new set of climate challenges? Real-life studies, like those conducted by the National Centre for Atmospheric Research, suggest this as a possibility. More so, the sudden transformation of the Sahara would impact global weather patterns. Forests can influence wind patterns and create clouds, altering weather far from the Sahara itself. This could mean that people thousands of miles away may have to adapt to new weather patterns, affecting agriculture, infrastructure and daily life. In the worst-case scenario, these changes could potentially lead to crop failures, economic instability and displacement of people both in the Sahara and other parts of the world. Moreover, the newly created forest itself may face threats from extreme weather events due to climate instability. In conclusion, the hypothetical greening of the Sahara isn't just a fascinating thought experiment. It's a deep dive into understanding the intricate and delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. While a green Sahara remains hypothetical, the exploration of such a scenario offers us invaluable insights into our relationship with our environment. As we continue to grapple with the realities of climate change, it's a stark reminder of the profound ways in which large-scale environmental changes can ripple through human societies. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like and subscribe to the channel for free to see more great weather videos.